Hey everybody, so Hello. Philippa, Bridges Rules, Claire, Hi. True Society, and we're at uh, Sudley Castle um, on our first full day of the Executed Queen's Tour, and we're here at Sudley Castle because we are looking at the story of Lady Jane Grey, who was here as ward of Catherine Parr when Catherine was living here. Um, and Lady Jane Grey, well, Catherine Parr actually died at Sudley, um, giving birth to Thomas Seymour's uh, child. And Lady Jane Grey was chief mourner at her funeral. And Catherine Parr is, in fact, buried in the private chapel here at Sudley. So we thought you might like to follow the procession that Lady, uh, the processional route that Lady Jane Grey would have followed to church during her time here um, as ward to Catherine, but also. I think I think at the funeral as well. Yeah, she was the ward so, of, of Thomas Seymour, but obviously sorry, he, he was Seymour. married to Catherine, so therefore that made her, you know, connected to Catherine as well. But you can see behind us the ruins of Sudley Castle because quite Should a lot of it, a little bit? quite a lot of it is in ruins, which makes it very atmospheric uh, because of the because the English Civil War, um, the damage that was done to it then. Um, but there's one wing, um, well, it was built over Can different periods of time, but there is a wing that is more complete. And luckily the church um, is, is lovely so, and complete. So, should, yeah, should we go we'll, for a walk? We'll walk? You can see the ruins behind us. So that would have been the Great Hall. The Great Hall. Uh, so the Great Halls are always at the... Always? Am I, am I over? Generally on the first floor, you can see that's the back, I mean, to point in the right place, that's the back of the fireplace. Yes, a big and you've got the great windows. Well, it's be- I think it's beautiful, nice as a ruin, beautiful actually. Beautiful ruins because they've got like rambling roses through them and that's a really, really beautiful. But we're just coming up now to what would have been, it's called the Queen's Walk is what Sudley Castle have called it because um, it's actually uh, Catherine and Jane would have come out of the oh, really? main house here behind me. This is the main house here. <laughs> and then they would have walked along. There would have been a covered walkway so they didn't have to go out in the elements because you don't want to get wet on your way to church, do you? They big dresses. It would so, be very uh, we're, we're ah. walking. We're walking <laughs> across to the church and they've nicely uh, marked the Sweet. route so we can't go wrong, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> we, we might get attacked by bees. Us. That might be the... Yes, through the... Through lavender and rosemary and that. Oh, we actually meet uh, Catherine Parr and uh, Lady Jane Grey on the way because they've got topiary. <laughs> topiary ones. There are we. Can you see that there's a topiary? I don't know which one's supposed to be which. I'm assuming this is yeah, Lady Jane Grey because she's the smaller way. one. Yes, this might be Lady Jane Grey. So I my friend so. Jane here, Queen Jane, I like to call her. So, and then we walk this way. And whether this is Catherine with a book. I'm going to say Catherine with a book. I think because, of course, she was a published author. Yeah. So we've got Catherine with her book there. Okay. And then we wander through. And we're going to carry on. I'm trying to show you. So th- this, was, like Claire said, this would already all, all have been a covered walkway. And this here, that they've now called the White Garden, this would have, there would have been a room here. Yeah. So this would have been within This would have chapel. been a, a private private chapel for them so there's we can't get into the church this way um but this is the way that they would come in you can see that it's been sort of blocked off and that but this is where they would have privately uh sort of worshipped so we need to mention these windows yep um which wouldn't have had stained glass i don't think they they wouldn't have even had glass um that's how the how jane and catherine parr would have seen the um, the service, they could have seen the altar, they could have seen the priest, but without any of the congregation being able to see them, because inside, and we're going to take you inside in a minute, um, the, the, the window frame is slanted forward, so from behind there you couldn't see, you couldn't see them mm. watching the service. So um, I think we're going to take you round. Um, um, we'll, we'll take you inside, but what we won't, we're not going to do a spiel a talk, talk in the church because we're very conscious that there'll be other visitors there, and also it is a place of worship, and I don't want to be um, at all disrespectful mm-hmm. 
in the church, but we will show you uh, Catherine Parr's tomb, which is a Victorian uh, creation uh, because uh, they, they, her tomb was lost for, for quite a long time. Her burial site was lost for rather a long time. And then two ladies, was, I can't remember what date it Having was. Having a Victorian so picnic somewhere. Late 1700s, I think. Oh, they said we'll the it, there, there are various it. stories mm -hmm. as to who found it. But um, they um, they moved an alabaster uh, slab or something and found um, the remains of a leaden envelope mm. and decided to open it. Yeah. So Catherine Pryor had actually been her body was really well preserved mm. until this discovery, and then word got around that they discovered her body, um, and so more people came to look. People took yes. apparently took souvenirs. So. I'm yes. hoping that doesn't mean of her, that over a long <laughs> of kind of what she was of time, wasn't it? Yeah, quite a few. Was and of course, she eventually uh, went to uh, bones and dust. And actually, in the main house, there's um, a glass case which we've seen, mm -hmm. um, which has got a lock of Catherine's hair and a tooth Jeez. and a pendant and things that are said to have been found um, with her remains uh, before they actually properly reinterred her and created. Mm. Um, this monument to her. So we'll so take, we'll take you, you take you round. Okay. Okay. So let's go. It's very, very pretty. It smells amazing, yes, actually. Yes, it does. Let's just have a look. There you go. And such a lovely day as well. It was rain was forecast. It was supposed to be rain, but, but you know, fine. I had a word. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I had a word too. Did you have a word as well? There you go. Double trouble. <laughs> So we're That's just coming show. around. So um, we have two statues on the outside of the, the front of this chapel. Um, that guy there is Henry VI to, um, to kind of show that part of this um, chapel was built during his time. And then that's a Queen Victoria, young Queen Victoria, to um, show that also there was quite a lot of work done here during the we Victorian were, we period. We were told about how um, the um, castle, and that was crenellated by Ralph Butler, or Butler. Mm. Um, Let's have a look back over the castle. Did he, to, uh, he, did, he wasn't to allowed to put those crenellations. It, so he ended up being fined, got away with it for a while. <laughs> Till someone came and said... So now we're going That's to take pretty. you in, so no, we're, we're going to have to talk. go quiet This now. is going to be really difficult for us <laughs> to not talk. <laughs> we could whisper. We could whisper. Let's go. see from if I go further back if I was sitting here I wouldn't be able to see in through to see who was on the other side of those windows right now I'll shut up down to the coats of arms mm -hmm. of her different husbands. And her arms as green in the middle. We're not doing very good at the not talking thing, are we? No, we're not. This is the one, it's as in once it was discovered, yeah. Copy of the original. Yeah. It's great. Right. 
She says she's the only English queen to be buried in a private chapel, and she also had the first Protestant um, funeral service in England, I think, of a royal. That was right, yeah. In here. Right, thank you for watching.